Fahad Abu al Nasser. Governor Herbert, Imam Malik, Excellencies, esteemed religious leaders, interfaith leaders, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of our Secretary General, Mr. Faisal bin Muammar, it's a great honor to be here with you today representing the International Dialogue Center, Kaisid. We are the only intergovernmental organization governed by religious representatives. Seeing this impressive assembly, I am e deeply aware of the great depth our organization owes to the pioneering leaders who made dialogue among religions a reality. Many of these leaders are here with us today. Many of you have committed your lives to promoting dialogue and cooperation. We share a common bond to build lasting bridges between religions and cultures. Your movement, your movement, our movement, the interfaith movement is rich, diverse, and inclusive. It combines the strength of different organizations, different methods, different philosophies. At the International Dialogue Center, we too embrace diversity as a gift, and we see dialogue as an opportunity to bring about sustainable, positive change. Kassid was founded in 2012 by the Republic of Austria, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the Kingdom of Spain, and the Holy See as the founding observer. For an intergovernmental organization, our governance is unique. Our board of directors include nine representatives of five of the world religious tradition, Buddhism, Christianity, Hinduism, Islam, and Judaism. The board design and supervise all of our programs. This structure gives us a unique ability to bring together politics and religion. As you know, dialogue between policymakers and religious leaders is essential for building sustainable peace. Our programs create a space for this dialogue in conflict areas and around the world. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, my message to you today is this. Kaiseed programs and training support the work you do. We want to partner with you and to complement your good work. Our goal is to amplify your voices and advocate dialogue for building peace. As you are all aware, religious identities are being manipulated by certain political and religious leaders who abuse religious teachings and values to incite violence. These growing conflicts threaten peaceful coexistence, and for that reason, now dialogue is needed more than ever. Allow me to give you a few examples. Our international fellow program trained the next generation of religious leaders in dialogue and peace building. Through social media training, we are helping dialogue practitioners to challenge voices of hatred and division. The growing refugee crisis in the Middle East and in Europe tells us that we must urgently use dialogue for peace. Kaiseed Initiative, United Against Violence in the Name of Religion, is, is fostering dialogue and cooperation between religious leaders and governments, particularly in Iraq and Syria. It began in November 2014 when we gathered leaders of Christian, Muslim, and other religious and ethnic communities from the Arab world. And with one voice, they denounced any violence in the name of religion. <clears throat> 
Since then, this initiative has grown. Peace is being built today at the local level through religious communities. Kaisid bring religious leaders and policymakers together in dialogue. Political leaders need the wisdom and the commitment of religious communities to transform conflict and enable reconciliation. In the Central African Republic, for instance, a country torn by war, we, we are helping religious communities and civil societies acquire an active role in rebuilding the country. We are building platforms for dialogue experts in Nigeria, Iraq, and the Central African Republic to directly engage with key political and religious figures. Here, at this historic parliament session, we hope to learn from you. We hope you will take the opportunity to visit us at our booth and exchange your experience with us. Let us join efforts to promote dialogue and reconciliation throughout the world. Thank you very much.